Smile and learn. Hello, my friends. I'm back from the moon to show you some amazing tricks that will help you multiply numbers quickly. Are you ready to become a mental math star? Today we will learn how to quickly multiply by tens and hundreds that end in zero with a few little tricks. Here we go! First, we will learn how to quickly multiply two tens that end in zero. To do this, imagine we have 30 space stations with 50 astronauts in each one. As you know, to calculate the total number of astronauts, we can do a traditional multiplication, but I'm going to teach you a trick to solve it faster. We will start by multiplying the two non-zero numbers, that is, 3 times 5. What result do we get from that multiplication problem? 15. Then we will count the number of zeros from the two original numbers we wanted to multiply. 30 has one zero and 50 has another, right? Well, we add them to the 15 we got from multiplying 3 times 5 and we get 1,500! Which is the final answer for this multiplication. Wow! 1,500 astronauts! That many people live in space? I hope they have food for all of them. It's that simple. 30 times 50 equals 1,500. Moving on to the next trick, let's find out how to quickly multiply hundreds by tens ending in zero. Suppose we want to know how many stars there are in 30 galaxies with 700 stars in each one. To do this, we will calculate the answer to this multiplication problem with our simple trick. Exactly as before, let's start by multiplying the non-zero numbers. In this case, 7 times 3. What result does it give us? Of course, 21. Next, we count the zeros from the original numbers that we want to multiply. 700 has two zeros and 30 has one, so there are three in total. Lastly, we will add these three zeros after the number 21 to get the final answer, 21,000. There are 21,000 stars. Will I have time to visit them all? If you remember these two steps, you will be able to solve this type of multiplication problem easily. First, we multiply the non-zero numbers. Then, we count and add the zeros to the final result. Easy, isn't it? Let's do some examples to practice. What is 80 times 90? Let's follow the trick we just learned. We will start by multiplying the non-zero numbers, that is, 8 times 9, which gives us 72. Then, we count the zeros from the numbers we want to multiply and add them to 72. So the final result is 7,200. How can we calculate 300 times 40 quickly? Here we go! First we'll multiply 3 times 4, which gives us 12, and then we'll count the zeros and add them to the end. So 12,000 is the result. Awesome! Great job! Now you know how to multiply tens and hundreds that end in zero quickly and effortlessly. 
See you next time, little math stars. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much Let's you could learn. Let's do some examples to Subscribe practice. to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.